Thank you for tuning into my channel. I hope you enjoy these four bridges. So please join me now for episode 11. The Benton Bridge in York County. The Brenton Bridge as it crosses Eel River. Again, we see the Howe and Queen trusses. An overhead of Eel River. Here we see a little bit of graffiti and how well this bridge is preserved on the inside. One of only two in York County. It features a metal roof. The Benton Bridge was built in 1927. A single span of 32 meters. You'll find this bridge on the Benton Road, west of Fredericton. The water is quite high today due to recent heavy rains in the area. Here comes an interesting user of the bridge. There's a beautiful little playground and picnic area just off the side of the road. Sawmill Creek, Elbert County. I heard there was a 25 cent fine for not walking your horse across this bridge. The Sawmill Creek Bridge is now retired. It seems like there's been some work done on it recently with these windows all boarded up. The Howe and Queen design surely is the most popular in the bridges around here. It is a single span of 32 meters. The bridge is maintained and cared for by the Albert County Heritage Trust. This seems like a very tranquil area. I think there's an ice cream stand right here but it's closed today. The bridge was built in 1908 and is located near Hopewell Hill, not too far from Riverside, Elbert. The McGuire Bridge, Charlotte County. The McGuire Bridge with a 35 meter span across the Diggity Wash River. The Diggity Wash flows into the Pasmagwari Bay. You'll find this bridge in Elmsville and it's not far from St. George. Built in 1913. What a beautiful country setting here in Elmsville. I'm wondering if this hole might allow people to stand on the bridge and jump into the water down below. It was a beautiful hot and summer day the day that I recorded this video so I took some time and went for a swim and then relaxed for a few minutes on this beautiful little beach. This bridge was closed for an extended period in 2019 for extensive repairs and some maintenance. Look up, see the holes in the roof. There's lots of light coming through the boards on the side of the bridge as we drive through. Crooked Creek, Albert County. Crooked Creek Covered Bridge. Cool. The bridge is almost covered over with the trees. It 
took some time for me to find this bridge, but it was more fun that day than I had doing all the other bridges. We had to use the ATVs to get there, as opposed to a four kilometer walk. A 28 meter span across the Crooked Creek. From above, you can't see the road. We had a great day today on the ATVs and the side-by-side, -side, traveling through the woods in a search of bridges. We found three covered bridges today, this being the last one. It was one I was most interested in. A small hole in the canopy to let the drone fly through. Built in 1945 and no campfires allowed. How and Queen Trust Construction. You'll find this bridge on the Crooked Creek Road in the Caledonia Gorge Protected Area. Not far from Hillsboro. A good view from the underside of the bridge showing these cross braces. This bridge is in really good shape. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please subscribe to my channel and share. Thank you.